Hello, good morning. It's time to do sports here on New Day. My name is Yao Ofosulabi, and uh, we're starting this morning with an interview on swimming. And Ghana is set to host the uh, Africa Zone 2 Ghana Swimming Championships, and it will be done right here at the uh, Bukum International Pool. And, you know, several other places will be uh, talking extensively about this swimming event as hit in Ghana from March 5 to March 8. And joining me in the studio to do the discussion is uh, Sarah Asafoja, who's a local, uh, the LOC chair uh, of the Africa Zone 2 Swimming Championships. And Farida Idris is also the national treasurer of the Ghana Swimming Association and the uh, FINA International Techni Technical Official. Hello, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, first, let me start with you, Sarah. I mean, as LOC chair, what are we to expect from uh, this, this event? You are to expect a perfectly well-organized event, right. an exciting event, and one that will leave viewers longing for more. Yeah. Now, um, on Saturday, I was at the um, I was at the Bukom International Pool, where you know uh, the, the the event was was really really good. What do you make of the interest that people are are putting in in the sports at this moment? Uh, it's encouraging. It could be better, but I think we have a long way to go. But you at the competition, I think you saw the level of excitement and interest. Exactly. I mean, people stayed from right from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And, mm -hmm. you know, to get Ghanaians to sit in one place the whole day is not easy. Yeah. So that was very encouraging. I'll come back to you on, on, on talents and, and, and how we can harness these talents. But Farida, uh, thanks very much to you two for joining us. Now, as national treasurer um, and, and, a, and an organized um, a competition coming up, uh, you know, in the next few days. What is your role and, and what, what is happening with, with the Swimming Association in order to make this a success? Um, currently, the LOC and the subcommittees are in charge of, um, have been assigned to do certain things, but I have been assigned as the liaison between the Ghana Zone 2 okay. Bureau and then the Ghana Swimming Association. Right. And so my work is to be the liaison and secondly as the competition manager for the african zone too right. um i need to train my technical officials the pr practical aspect of training mm -hmm. to be able to officiate mm -hmm. this event is a FINA qualifying event for tokyo 2020 so it will be different from what you saw on saturday right. that means the officiating because sometimes because of the kids they might not know certain strokes how to touch which stroke needs one touch which stroke need two touches yeah. so sometimes we we are able to manage with the disqualification okay. but this is a senior championship mm -hmm. these are well experienced swimmers yeah. and so we are applying every aspect of the rules in swimming which means we will need to do several training for the technical official yeah. to be able to get ready before the competition so so far i'm doing aspect of liaison mm -hmm. and then training of the technical officials so so that means that um the the competition that's coming up will be a bit more competitive than what we saw on saturday yeah. mm -hmm. yes <laughs> saturday's on we let's leave it at the amateur level okay. but this one are uh, elite swimmers elite swimmers. um let's say about uh, 65 or 70 percent of them Mm -hmm. were in Rio Olympics okay. and then this same group of people will be in Tokyo because yeah. whether you qualify we might use the wild card to qualify there okay. so these are experienced swimmers who have swum professional for more than five years Excellent. and so it's going to be like at the highest level so how many swimmers professional swimmers do we have in this country and how many of them are going to this tournament hoping to uh, well, we qualified. don't have any professional swimmers. What professional means, that's all they do. That's we have students, right. we have people who swim, okay. but as she said, at the elite, elite level. level right. So competitive, <laughs> let's call them competitive swimmers. Right. I don't know how many we have, but Team Ghana is going to be a 16-member team. 16? 16. 16-member 16 right. team. So I was going to come back to you on uh, the, the talents that you saw on Saturday and whether we can, we can improve upon them. I saw four-year-olds, five-year-olds. <laughs> Is there a plan to, to, to get them to that elite level that oh, you're talking about? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you talk to any of the swim clubs, they all have a strategic plan, five years at least, some of them ten, ten years, and on the national level, the same thing. I mean, these ones at four years old can swim, they understand some of the basic rules, right. they know about timing, 
So imagine them in another two, three years. Right. I mean, I think um, Abeku started swimming maybe when he was about four or oh, five. Yes. Yeah. And it, you just have to see the progression yeah. of, of the swimmers we have now in the national team, mm -hmm. who all started fairly young. Right. You see that once you start them young and you develop them consistently and invest in them, we have a lot of prospects. Are you, are you hopeful of this tournament and, and 16 member team? How many, how many of the swimmers, I mean, looking at them, how many of them do you think can surely take us to Rio? Uh, to Tokyo, sorry. Uh, out of the 16, yeah. um, last, uh, 2018, that's the sixth edition of this championship. Right. Uh, out of them, I think we went with eight okay. of them. And then we, we placed second out of the 22 countries. That's impressive. With almost about 28 uh, medals right. in total for Team Ghana. Yeah. So most of them are experienced. So we are hopeful that those who are within the qualifying range mm -hmm. will get qualification. If they don't get, I think that this opportunity it will also give them more experience. Because by the next month in April, we'll be going to the African Championship. Right. So they have from now to June to okay. do their qualification. Right. So if you don't get qualification, you go by the wild card right. to go to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So for now, Without the qualification, we have two slots, one yeah. boy, one girl. And so, but most of them are, are trying their best. Jason, Abe, Kukaya, Maya, mm -hmm. the rest, they are doing their best to get either the A qualifying time or the B qualifying time. But it's a little difficult with this low infrastructure that we have here. Right, but let's talk about funds. Um, uh, how does, uh, do, do, do you have funds? I mean, do, do, do you, I mean, because as national treasurer and, and someone who you know, sort of like minds the money of, of, of the association, it's, it's important that I ask about funds. Yeah, well, I think I'll, I'll leave that question to Auntie Sarah <laughs> to start that. <laughs> the the answer answer is, yeah. We have no funding. Amazing. I mean, in place. Okay. As an association, yeah. you know, barely have enough to do the monthly runnings. Competitions are always sponsored by either parents, local conditions. Parents? Parents and a few smaller corporates. You know, we, we call on favors from time to time. We get product in kind support. For this one, we are, it's a big competition. The budget is very big. So we've targeted several corporates. Some of them have come on board. We are still waiting for a few more. They've confer confirmed. We don't know the amounts, but we are confident we will, we will get the money. Has there, has there been any message from the, from the ministry? The ministry is supporting in other ways at this point in time. Right. I mean, you know the ministry, they can surprise us pleasantly right. at the last minute. But they are, they are supporting with um, transportation, reducing the championship. They've managed to get the cost of the venue, which was very high. Cool. Um, they've waived about 50% of it. So they are being helpful. Great. So again, uh, the, the Bukom International Pool, how, how does this improve the sports in this, in this country? Because, I mean, I, I spoke to many people on Saturday and the kids especially were really, really excited to have a pool that big, you know, to go the length and breadth of it and all of that. I mean, well, professionally, size, what, I mean... Size-wise, yeah. we already have Olympics-sized uh, pools, which is 50 meters. Okay. The difference is you have starting blocks at both ends. Right. The depth of the water allows them to dive safely at both ends when they are doing relays. Right. Before, there's always the slight risk okay. someone might injure themselves. Yeah. Now, there's no danger of that. Right. Touch pads, brilliant, because no matter how good the human being with a stopwatch is, the swimmer always has a little bit of doubt. Maybe they didn't capture that microsecond. Mm -hmm. Now it's plain. You touch, you decide your time. Right. So that in itself. There's also a very there's facilities surrounding the pool which are very useful. And there's space. And I think for the technical aspects, Farida can speak, but I think they are very excited about this. Pool. Farida, just take us through the technical aspects there. Um, normally, uh, before Bukom International Pool, mm -hmm. we often use just the one side to officiate. Right. But on for international standards, we are supposed to officiate at all angles. Right. That is, ten on this lane, ten mm -hmm. on the other lane, and on the side will be for the stroke judges. So two right. each yeah. on each side. Previously, we were not 
able to do it because we had just one starting block mm. at one end. So that is where we were supposed to okay. stand. With the stopwatches too, now we have an advanced thing. Mm -hmm. We just use the stopwatches just on, on an unlikely event. Right. But now we don't often use stopwatches. It's just the start pad and automatically it connects to the laptop right. and then laptop see your time. Okay. And so it's, it makes our thing very easier yeah. for us. Yeah. We have the core room set up mm -hmm. so swimmers move they get there 20 minutes before the event settle down they go through or we have to check the swimsuit right you see the swimsuit they train with that mm -hmm. is not the usual one. Okay. you need to be in your fat skin that okay. has the fina approved logo on it oh, okay. if you don't have that you want you won't be able to swim okay. you need to have that so we go through all this channel from core room one and two mm -hmm. that means when they get to two they are ready to swim right if they pass all the advertising rules and everything they are ready to swim and then they get straight to the starting block great now um, sarah finally let's just uh, touch on the the event it's on march 5 to march 8 and so within those three days um what are the activities lined up okay it's actually four days four three days, days at bukom international pool right. and the fourth day is at uh, is the open water swim that's a five kilometer swim in Ada, yes, it's a long distance, but they'll, they'll do it, and you, yeah. you should come and watch, and you should Ghana cover it. Too. Right. So that is happening so. at uh, in Ada at yeah. Aqua Safari Resort. Okay, fifth, sixth, seventh, it's all happening at Bukom International Pool. Free entry, come, bring a friend, come and watch, get inspired. We have as soon as here. Now. Yeah. Well, uh, well uh, uh, Sarah, I mean, uh, it's, it's 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 good that you've you've, you've just mentioned the the five kilometer you know race because I I, I do not know how is it is it is it in the sea. Well, at in Ada, it's the river. It's the river. It's the river. Yeah, amazing. But they've amazing. done it seven, in the sea at least. Seven, 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 oh, no, no, five kilometers. All our swimmers can do that. Oh, they, oh, they can do. Oh, that. in training, some of them do it for Fair just training. The, the zone we we won. Okay. We are the reigning champions. Okay. Faida, thank you for joining me <laughs> this morning. You. Sarah, thank you also for joining me thank this you. morning. Thank you for and, having um, us. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pledging my support to the Swimming Association. I'll always be at your events.